Hello there, my name's David. I'm going to take you through uh, this afternoon just a, a quick resume on both demonstrating a bee cafe and also how to manage making the bee cafe with the kids. Okay. So first of all, preparation. Uh, always have one of the bee cafes already made up beforehand and it shows the kids or whoever you're demonstrating to what the finished item looks like. But also make sure that all your plants are ready and ready to hand, hand as well. Uh, when it comes to plants that are in pack bedding like this, it's worth pre-popping them out by popping your finger there, pushing them out, and that will just make it easier for the kids to remove the plants and plant them later on. Uh, the compost have as well on your bench, and what I tend to do is cut the top out of the compost so that it's ready to scoop out, and I use an old pot as a scoop to do that. Uh, and just to say, make sure that you've got all your uh, materials ready to hand. Having got all your materials ready, the next thing is to sort your basket out. This is a 14 inch wire hanging basket and the first thing to do is it's, the basket can be built on, uh, on any steady surface. Um, remove the label first otherwise it will be stuck in the basket and then also unhook one of the chain links, take it off and put that out of the way and that means that your chain won't be in, your co in the compost in any way at all. And the next thing you need to do before you start filling up is to put a liner in. And all the liner is doing is just making sure that the compost doesn't fall out. Uh, this is the Bloomer liner and as you can see as well as uh, slits which actually fits the shape of the hanging basket there are also holes cut in it in which you can put the plants through. So that's nice and simple. Lay the liner down at the bottom there and then just work the corners around and so that it fits into the corners like this. And I'll show you how to use the planting slits in just a little while so that there is ready to go. Our next step is to fill the basket about half to two thirds with compost. Today I'm using uh, B&Q uh, Verve peat free compost, multi-purpose compost and what I tend to do for running demonstrations is I'll take the bag and I'll just cut the top out so it's easy to get to and also if you're working with a group of kids use a 60 litre bag and have the bag in the centre of the table with the kids all around it. So all I'm using here is an old, uh, an old pot as a scoop and all I'm going to do is take the compost, break up any lumps and fill that into the, into the, the basket until you've reached about um, a half to two thirds full. The secret ingredient and the next thing to add at this stage is Bloomer's Basket Friend. This is a, a combination product and I'll just show you what it looks like in the pack. It's a combination of little brown granules and crystals. And what this is, is plant food to feed the bee cafe for up to six months. And also, as you'll see in a minute, these crystals uh, absorb water and make the whole process of um, watering a, your bee cafe a lot, lot easier. After water, has been, after water has been added to this, this is what you end up getting, a, 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 a series of gel particles which holds the water inside the compost so that uh, the plants don't need to be watered quite so often. And it's well worth it for the demonstration and for the activity to make some of this up beforehand so that the kids can stick their fingers in it. It's completely non-toxic and it's a great fun thing to do. The correct quantity of Basket Friend is two level teaspoons of Basket Friend into the basket. There's two little teaspoons like that and once it's in there it can be mixed into that into that top layer. The reason that we mix it into the lower layers of the compost is that the gel works, it swells up but you don't actually see it working. Now we come to the planting stage. This is the really good fun bit and we're going to divide our plants up into three different types. Uh, thrillers, spillers and fillers and I'll explain all that in just a moment. The first one is, uh, is a thriller. So this is a, a single plant that will grow to quite a decent size and it will the, make the centre point of the bee cafe. This is a Cape Daisy, an Osteospermum, and as you can see it's a daisy type flower and effectively this is a target that brings the bees in to the nectar and pollen in the centre of the flower. So in terms of placing this into the bee cafe, all you do is turn it like this, give the pot a squeeze, pull the plant out and just place it into the compost like that. And what you want to try to achieve is so the top of the compost is about to the level of the top of the liner like that, okay? Now, the next stage we're gonna put in is some spillers. So as the name 
name suggests, these are plants that are going to spill out over the side and fill out around the bee cafe so that the plants aren't just, um, aren't just at the top here. Um, and for that I'm going to use Napita, which bees like, Ivy, which will flower later in the year and provide uh, nectar for them, but also uh, trailing, uh, tra trailing fuchsias. Okay? Um, so with these, hopefully you've already popped these out of the side of the container, so out they come like that. Now the thing about these is that when these are grown like this, is actually the root system is quite sensitive, but the plants are actually, you can, you can kind of muck around with those quite a bit. And the ways in which you could, uh, the ways in which you could do that are either to place it like this, start from the inside and put the leaves through, and those actually fit between the slits in the, in the basket. Or, if you've got something that's a bit more robust or a bit of it on the smaller side, like these ivies, what I can do is do exactly the same, but in this case, I can shove the plants actually through the hole, through the planting hole like this. Don't worry if a few leaves fall off because they'll grow again quite, quite happily and pull them through like that so that they're there, ready to grow out. And in this case, I've put an ivy, I've put a trailing, uh, a trailing fuchsia, and also here I've got some uh, cat mint or napita, which can go in, in here as well. There we go. And lastly, the fillers. Uh, these are good value plants, things like Granny's bonnets, aquilegia, marguerites, and English lavender. And these go around the thriller plant in the middle and fill in that gap between the spillers and the thriller. So, for example, I'll take the marguerite, which I've pre-popped out, and just put that in, in the gap between it there. That English lavender comes out as well, and that pops in there. And we carry them around. I'm putting about four plants around the thriller plant. That's all the plants taken care of. All we have to do now is tuck them up in bed with some more of the pea free compost. So using a scoop, just sprinkle the compost in around like this. And a nice little term that I tend to use is that in terms of tucking them up to bed, it's also giving them a bit of a head massage. So use your fingers and just prod the, uh, the compost in all around so that there aren't any gaps. So if there's any gaps, that means there'll be air which can dry the roots out and kill them. And the idea is to fill the basket up until it's just the top of where the liner is. Now when we water this, it will expand uh, quite a bit with the gel, so it's important to leave a little bit of gap at the top to do that. But that's basically your, your, basket, your basket planted. So that's your bee cafe built. Uh, it's quite uh, an easy exercise to do. Uh, there are a number of other different plants that you could choose, and that's included in your background notes. Uh, we ask that the kids take the, the cafes home dry so that the cars don't, are not made a mess of. And so when you get back, give them a thorough watering, and then another watering 12 hours later to fully hydrate the gel that's inside it. And after that, find somewhere that's sunny and sheltered and not too high so that the kids can actually get to it and water it. And then the bee cafe is open for business. Thank you very much.